Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. And happy new month, mm. first of February, and the start of Black History Month. And a one-day warning that tomorrow is Groundhog Day. And 40,000 people have descended on Puxitani, Pennsylvania, because they want to see the groundhog come out of the, uh, his hole. I can't believe we're still doing that, to be <laughs> honest with you, because we always get extra winter, right? Well, if the groundhog... It's a scam. Yeah, it is a scam. It, it makes no difference. If he sees his shadow, we have six more weeks of winter. And if he doesn't, then we have it, six more weeks of winter. We have six more weeks of winter, mm. so... We had uh, a nice adventure last night. We did. We did. We went, uh, we went out of the big city of Jackson into, uh, where did we go to, a Chick-fil-A? Berkeley. Oh, Berkeley. Yeah. Andy's uh, cousin's son, my great nephew, Jonah, and the Oxford Wildcats played against the Berkeley Bears in beautiful downtown Berkeley. Beautiful downtown Berkeley. You know, the Berkeley parents, they didn't cheer for their kids. No. Not once. No, they didn't. Not one time they didn't cheer for their kids. Um, well, they lost the JV game. Jonah's number 15, Jonah Lundberg. And uh, God, it's been a long time since I've sat in the stands with my mother and Uncle Bob. <laughs> and I want to apologize to the officiating crew. We understand that you're not uh, Division One officials. You are going to make mistakes, and uh, we we apologize for all the. You can't do that. They had a very see nice that Bear Paw Cafe. Very nice, yeah. Noah, you would have loved this, and uh, the ladies working in there were phenomenal. The mm -hmm. pricing was great. They had pizza, pretzels, pop, Gatorade, hot dogs, uh, make some candy you might not be able to find locally, Noah. And uh, I had a stomachache from all of that. I got popcorn, pizza, Diet Coke, water, all five bucks. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. They had combo meals. I had two slices of pizza, uh, half a bag of Skittles, two Diet Cokes, and a stomachache. Yeah, well, that's because we stopped at Chick-fil-A on the way back, along with 3,000 other people. I'm so glad we don't have a Chick-fil-A for that reason, because well, I, I wouldn't want to go <laughs> to the Chick-fil-A because it takes so long. There's not a piece of property in Jackson that is big enough to hold a Chick-fil-A because the, they have to have like acres and acres for the winding lines mm -hmm. leading to the drive -thru. Yes, they do. Uh, yesterday, the governor uh, signed the first bill of the year, and this is the earliest a governor has signed a bill into law since 1947. It was the Supplemental Appropriations Bill, which is uh, just a bill full of um, this and that, including $200 million to uh, upgrade the es an Escanaba paper mill, a private business. What? Escanaba getting $200 million. Ooh, I smell to something upgrade. fishy. Yeah. I smell something fishy. Mm -hmm. some type it's, of, it's there. It's some done. type of backroom deal. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's crazy. Hey, before we get to anything else, I want to uh, send some thoughts and good wishes to JTV's own David Rice's grandfather. David Rice, uh, David had triple bypass surgery wow. uh, yesterday and uh, is doing well. So we're sending thoughts for a swift and safe recovery. And uh, David is under the care of uh, his wife, Penny. So uh, good luck. We uh, hope you get well soon. Mm -hmm. So there's David. David. Junior David, threes. There's three. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yep. Dr. Three is upstairs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, best wishes and a speedy recovery. Uh, the Powerball jackpot tonight. Oh my gosh! Six hundred and fifty-three million dollars. It's the eighth largest ever Powerball jackpot. It's weird how we've had the first through. They're like the top 10 in the last two and a half yeah. years, right? That doesn't make sense, does it? Especially with more people playing the lottery. I, I don't know why people don't win every week. I don't either. I smell something fishy. We went to a uh, JV game that was played appropriately last night with the appropriate ages, mm -hmm. genders, whistles, referees. Yeah, they all seem like that. sophomores to me. Well, 
um, in Portsmouth, Virginia, which you and I are very familiar with Been Portsmouth, there. Virginia, during a junior varsity game, uh, there was a ladybug situation. And uh, Arlisha Boykins is a 22-year-old assistant coach, number one there, pictured in the dark uni. She suited up for the JV team No, at 22 years old <laughs> and uh, was talking smack to the 14 and 15-year-olds. <laughs> Get it out. What? Yeah. How and does... um, so this is from the top down. She was fired. The, the varsity coach was fired because they were in on it. Wow. And uh, look at that. What are you, oh. crazy? The whole building must have 22 been 22 years it. old, you loser. Um, unbelievable. So, yeah, they are forfeiting their entire season. She was fired. And uh, watch this block. Well, she was good. Well, she's seven years <laughs> older than that child. Are you kidding me? And it was, it was still, you know what's hilarious is they were losing the game. <laughs> Churchland. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, coming from the booth, Noah sees a future varsity athlete uh, if she sticks with it. <laughs> Is she going to go to jail or anything? She should go to yeah. jail. <laughs> I, I, think we, I think she should go to jail for that. I have some good news. You know, we've been talking about um, all the winter illnesses. <laughs> the uh, health grades has released its forecast map of flu and Michigan in the, uh, I think the best color green actually. It's a decent green. Medium green is at low risk. Michigan is low risk. So that's good news for Michigan. Tennessee, Tennessee's got the flu everywhere down there. Yeah. But. That's just for the week? We have heard from both Dr. Donna and Dr. Katan that the uh, flu is way down so far this year, but there's plenty of flu season left absolutely crazy uh the big news out of the nfl is tom brady has announced his official retirement and i think it's going to be serious this time the guys upstairs think he's coming back but i think he's officially retired here's my prediction san francisco he's going to san francisco yeah he was born in the bay area and uh if brock purdy uh if his elbow doesn't get hurt i'm sure they would take tom mm -hmm. brandon do you think um Franchises are still willing to do whatever they want for one year with Tom Brady? Uh, it depends how much you give up, right? I mean, I think he has something there. He'd probably there. one year, maybe two years, he'd be 47. Yeah. Didn't work out so well for Tampa Bay. It didn't, but uh, 23 year career, uh, greatest of all time. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, have him hanging around the University of Michigan soon. He's a true goat. Yes, for sure. Uh, February. Also, we got another retirement. Oh, well, go ahead. Yeah, another retirement just in this morning. Uh, Dr. Phil has announced he is ending the Dr. Phil show. And you won't believe this. Uh, Dr. Phil is retiring after 21 years. We beat him. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, how about that? So uh, Dr. Wants Phil to a legend in his, in his own right, really? <laughs> No one he could is. repeat that show. No. He, he is one of a kind. He helped a lot of people. He sure did. Mm -hmm. So he's a, he really is a doctor, not like that other doctor. Uh, Oz. That other, Dr. Oz, yes. He, is a, uh, he has a doctorate in clinical psychology. Who? Dr. Phil? Dr. Phil. Oh, he has helped some families that were in some, a lot of trouble, mm -hmm. um, especially that one girl, uh, the Cash Me Outside girl. You remember her? <laughs> <laughs> she is. She's a millionaire. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you were going to do. Oh, I was going. Uh, I was going to say something. Yeah. A couple things coming up uh, the weekend of February 10th and 11th. Of course, we have the Jamie McKibben Daddy Daughter Dance, February 10th or 11th. You should sign up for that. That is, you can go up until eighth grade, which is cool. You're going. I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go. Maybe I'll go both nights. How about that? <laughs> Um, Jackson College is having their sportsman's banquet, and that is Saturday, February 11th as well. And that is a uh, wonderful event, great fundraiser for the Jets baseball and athletic program, and uh, tons of great prizes at that one. You could win an ATV. You could win an ATV, a lot of uh, hunting equipment, firearms. There's a lot, lot of great stuff out there. Yeah, sports memorabilia. Mm -hmm. 
They had uh, Drew Henson's baseball bat lunch. Drew Henson's baseball signed. bat. Signed. Signed. Yeah. Brandon would like that. Mm-hmm. I don't remember who he was. Yeah, you do. You're a big... Uh, <laughs> Play for the Yankees. DoorDash. Sorry. Grub Bub. Grub I've heard Bub. about this. Yes, this is a crazy story. Oh, this, yeah. So this over way. in uh, Macomb County, <laughs> in Chesterfield Township, a uh, six-year-old boy uh, got his dad's... Um, phone. This is Keith Stonehouse. Uh, no, Mason Stonehouse. His dad is Keith. Mason Stonehouse. Dad gave him a phone to play with and the Grubhub app was open. Oops. And uh, little Mason started ordering food. First came five large orders of jumbo shrimp, like then it. pizza, salads, shawarma, chicken, pita sandwiches, <laughs> chili cheese fries, ice cream, grape leaves, rice. The doorbell rang again and again and again. Uh, the dad wondered what is going on. He looked at his phone and he saw that he um, <laughs> got a fraud warning from Chase that uh, someone tried to spend the uh, actual uh, number of uh, $1,000 uh, of orders went through on dad's uh, account. But the kid, a uh, very nice tipper, Mason tacked on 25% to each order. Oh, well, that was nice of them. <laughs> <laughs> A thousand dollars. But the dad was kind of dumb because, you know, the stuff kept coming. And yeah, like, like <laughs> what are you thinking? Do you think yeah. you might want to check the app yeah. on your phone? That's um, like our neighborhood. I mean, we have dashers in and out. Uh, whether they're at my house or Dan Watts' <laughs> house, they're, they're at one of the houses. And uh, who doesn't love their food delivered, right? Uh, you know, I, I I like it delivered. I run hot and cold on that. <laughs> I, I like it always delivered. Mm-hmm. So the uh, Pistons, uh, their game tonight is in uh, danger of not being played. They they're stuck in uh, Dallas. Oh, is that right? Due to the ice. The ice and a problem with the plane, and so the Pistons had to endure what uh, average Americans have to endure. They were trapped on the tarmac for hours <laughs> on their plane. They ended up staying in a hotel, and they hope to fly out uh, tonight. So they're supposed to play the Washington Wizards uh, here tonight. So well, hopefully. I don't have tickets to that game, and I'm glad the staff is not going. Um, you know what? I did something crazy. I had bought tickets at a silent auction for the Pistons game mm-hmm. and the daddy daughter dance was the same night and I forgot to lower the price on the Pistons tickets and they didn't sell <laughs> <laughs> and that stunk so mm-hmm. that ever happened to you uh, yeah, yeah, in other words I lost money yes yeah, no in I've, other words I lost money it's thank hap- you it's happened to me yeah I forgot so Maybe people didn't buy them because they're just not very good, but I don't know. But we're still going as a staff. We're still going to do our yearly staff trip to the Pistons game. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. That was a lot of fun. It was. Uh, Let me get you some scores, and we had a uh, great night for Extreme Dodge. Wonderful night in uh, high school sports. Boys basketball. Hanover Horton beat Reading 54 250 Jackson with the big win over Chelsea 76 69 you saw that live on JTV you can catch it again this weekend Jackson high very very good if you want to see uh, see them play check their schedule out they've got uh, quite a few home games left Leslie over Northwest Mason over Western Columbia over Lenaway Christian and East Jackson over Springport girls basketball Grass Lake over Columbia Central Concord over Homer, Chelsea beat Jackson, Jackson Christian over Frontier, Napoleon over Onstead, Northwest over St. John's, and Springport over Reading. Here's what's coming up on deck tonight. We've got uh, a lot of action. On uh, Friday this week, we'll have uh, live uh, the boys and girls doubleheader East Jackson Uh, hosting Grass Lake, girls game first, boys game following, live on JTV uh, from East Jackson, presented by Avenue Auto. And then on Saturday, we will also have live high school hockey, Jackson United versus Lumen Christie from Optimist Ice Arena, presented by Avenue Auto. Hmm. 
Did you know that in the state of Michigan, if you're in third grade and you don't pass uh, third grade reading, it's a state law, the child has to be held back and yeah. repeat third grade? I bet that's not followed. It's a law, but yesterday, uh, lawmakers in the House advanced a bill that would remove the requirement that students repeat third grade. Hmm. And this was uh, signed into law by Governor Snyder several years ago. Hmm. Uh, Democrats in Lansing say this is not f fair because it uh, penalizes uh, lower income and minority students who have had the struggles and they're not going to have to be held back in third grade if this bill uh, continues through and gets uh, passed, hmm. which is I, likely. I would have to ask someone who's in education to uh, mm -hmm. get their opinion on that before, uh, before I guess. Today's show is brought to you by Home Steady of Greater Jackson. If you have an eyesore inside or outside your house that you'd like taken care of, whether that's a screen replacement, uh, light fixture replacement, walls painted, or anything else, give Home Steady a call today. Speaking of eyesores, did the dog sleep on your eye again last night? Just for half the night. Okay. Yeah, okay. just for half the night and then moved down to uh, the appropriate position. But who's, who's on the show today? We've got a great show lined up. We're going to get things started with Ben Learned and Sean Brogan from Lumen Christie High School right after this.